right now I'm testing a lithium polymer battery pack with my constant current sink. The battery pack should have uh, 820 million pair hours of capacity. I'm discharging it at a rate of 820 million pairs and I'm monitoring the uh, cell voltage and logging it with my multimeter and if the cell voltage reaches 6 volt I'll call this one empty and I'll show you the discharge graph later. Okay, just a little backup. It's been running for about 40 minutes now and I figured the battery pack is getting pretty warm so I measured it. My table here has 24.2 degrees C and the battery pack has about 32 degrees so it's warming up. Um, the uh, current sink itself is warming up too but not too much in comparison it's about two degrees warmer than ambient temperature the cell voltage starts to drop really quickly now I don't know if you can see that I'll call that one empty uh, the cells starts to heat up more and more too so I'll just switch it off let it recover for a moment and then I'll show you the graph okay now here's what I measured it's just the standard known discharge curve this point down here is where I stopped the discharging I switched off the current load and the voltage regenerates back up to about 7.1 volts when the battery recovers from discharging up here. I used this blue value, that's the average cell voltage while discharging, to calculate the internal resistance of the battery, which is about 1.27 ohms. The average cell voltage is 7.3 volts, by the way, and I calculated the area below this graph to uh, get the contained energy in the battery, which is about 19.3 kilojoules, and the measured capacitance is 720 milliampere hours, um, which is a bit lower than the nominal value, but I don't charge it up 100% full normally because I charge it using a constant voltage method which leaves you with about 20% of the uh, battery capacitance left. I'll show you how it's charged too. Charging the batteries up is pretty easy given you have a power supply where you can uh, dial in a current limit. The first thing you want to do is adjust the voltage to um, the cell voltage for charging up the lithium polymer batteries. Uh, this cell is actually two in series. If you charge them up fully, you will reach 4.2 volts per cell, which is about 8.4 volts for this battery. So I'm gonna dial in. 8.4 volts as exactly as possible to determine when loading is finished. I just keep under 8.4, ah, nearly there, just for good measure. Okay, that's the first step. The second thing you want to do is limit the charging current. I'll dial down my current limit to zero and I short the two terminals out and then I turn up the current to my maximum charge current 
Um, this cell is a 1C charge capable cell. I stay under that normally, so I'll use something like 500 milliamperes for charging it. Make sure it's cooled down after this charging, so you won't damage the cell. I'll just measure, measure it again. It's cooled down back to ambient, as you see. And now I hook up negative terminal to the negative and the positive. Oops, not really possible with, with one hand. Let me put you down right here. <laughs> and now we'll put it in there. As you see, the power supply went into constant current mode, supplying 500 milliamps of charge current and the cell voltage will rise up to 8.4 volts as it starts charging and as the um, charge state approaches full and the cell voltage approaches 8.4 volts the current will automatically go down so you can't overcharge your battery I wouldn't do that unattended though because as you know these things can burst up in flames pretty quick so stay there while you do it thanks for watching again bye bye